Welcome to another edition of the Spartan Sports Buzz where we talk about the latest in Michigan State sports. And of course, the latest is the NCAA tournament. Michigan State out in Spokane, Washington. It's been quite a journey to get here. Of course, on Sunday, Michigan State swept through the Big Ten tournament, winning their fourth Big Ten title. Then Sunday night, they went home. And then Monday, they came all the way back out here. So what's the trip been like for the guys? Well, they'll tell you a little bit about it. I don't even think it was 24 hours that we were home, but I mean, it, it was it was crazy. But I mean, this is what we worked for. You know, we were able to win the Big Ten Tournament Championship. Now we're working towards winning the National Championship. So we just got to take it one game at a time and see what happens. That's, that was kind of rough, especially early on where, I mean, you go from playing three games in three days, uh, that four-hour bus ride home, go to class, have a little workout, and then you leave right away, and then you got that time change. But, um, I mean, this is what we signed up for. And, I mean, I mean, after all the things we've been through this year, I mean, that's, that's minimal. It's been an amazing journey for the Michigan State Spartans this year with the injuries, the ups and downs, the wins and the losses. But it's amazing. They win the tourney, they get done, and now they're suddenly – the darling, the fan base is filling back up. The bandwagon, I should say, is filling back up. Even the president has picked them to win the NCAA tournament. So what's it all like for these guys? Just make a bigger target on your back. And, uh, you know, you just got to, either you're going to back down and just let them, you know, eat you or you're going you're gonna to fight. And, uh, you know, we've been fighters since, you know, we had all these injuries. We fought ways to get through it. And uh, since now we got everybody back, we just got to continue to fight. Two weeks ago, people were saying our season was over. And that, oh, what's wrong with them? They're, they're, they're falling apart. Might as well pack it in. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, those people who are all, like, supporting us, I mean, yes, we appreciate all that, but they don't have to play the game. It's on us. So we're going to have to go out there and uh, play how we, like, like how we know how to play and uh, went, try to win these six games. Up first here in Spokane for Michigan State, their second round opponent, the Delaware Blue Hens out of the Colonial Athletic Association. They were the winners of the conference tournament. They come in 25 and nine overall. And the Spartans talk about what makes this team such a dangerous one in this tournament. They have three guys who score over 18 points a game. They like to run and uh, they like to put up some shots and uh, they like to draw fouls and get to the free throw line. So, you know, as a team that's been in foul trouble a lot recently, we have to be able to defend without fouling and be able to contain the scores. They're very explosive. You know, they have three guys averaging more than 18 points a game. You know, and they like to get up and down. So the main thing, what we have to do is just contain dribble penetration and try not to foul. While the Delaware Blue Hens are the number 13 in the East region of the NCAA tournament, they're still a very dangerous opponent, and the Spartans know that, especially seniors Adrian Payne and Keith Appling, who are entering their last chance to reach the Final Four in their Spartan careers. It's like, you know, just leave it all out on the floor, you know, practice, you know, I'm telling, you know, telling guys like, man, this, this can be our last practice if we don't, you know, we, so we might as well go hard as we can, you know. So we just got to continue to get better and, and get, get better chemistry. And, you know, I, it's, it's been great to be able to, you know, have my last year with these guys and, you know, play with them again and have another chance and be able to go to a Final Four. Right now, you know, my main thing is a sense of urgency, you know. It's not one moment that I could take a possession off or, or, or any, any any given point in the game, you know. So I just want to try to keep keep my guys focused and stay focused myself for 40 minutes because if not, that's the way that upsets occur. 